Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to present the uh, Winter School. Um, this was the brainchild of Lev Hochberg, uh, and I don't know about childhood and puberty, but it's now 20 years old, and was aimed and developed because of the challenges for people coming from former Eastern European countries to access either summer school or the SB annual meeting. And over the 20 years, you can see from this map here that the school has visited uh, a wide range of mostly Eastern European uh, locations, uh, with one or two occasions uh, in North Africa. Unlike the summer school, the winter school aims to cover the whole of the pediatric endocrine syllabus, which is quite a challenge in four and a half days. And you can see the typical distribution of topics broken up on the middle day uh, with a half-day excursion. Um, not listed on here, and particularly important, as in summer school, is the requirement of students who've been accepted to bring a case for presentation and the eternally popular uh, teachers' cases, uh, which are taught on each of the five days in small group interactive sessions. Uh, this year, I'm grateful to uh, Zoran Gutchev, who helped me organize the winter school uh, in Lake Ohrid in Macedonia. Uh, we had 57 applicants and selected on merit 26 applicants who were distributed from the countries listed with a particular focus on those coming from uh, the former Yugoslav republics. And this is a tendency that each year we will focus on a particular geographical area within uh, Eastern Europe. I'm particularly grateful to the faculty uh, who are listed here and their origins. Um, we will have a vacancy uh, after next year's school when Margaret Zacharin will leave us uh, the appointments for three years in the first instant uh, renewable for three years. Uh, I would particularly like to thank uh, Ferring Pharmaceuticals who funded this over the years uh, with um, a grant. They make absolutely no demands of us and uh, we warmly welcome and acknowledge their generous support. And recently Elizabeth Weiss, who within Ferring has taken over responsibility for the schools. For those of you who are interested, uh, next year's winter school will take place in this beautiful uh, old manor house in Estonia uh, from the 17th to the 24th of March. Uh, we will be giving priority to those applying from the Baltic states, Russia, Belarus, Ukraine and Poland, and you'll find details of how to apply uh, on the SB website. Please note that the deadline for applications is October the 23rd, and they should be sent to me at my email address, uh, which is listed. And I will leave you with a picture that emphasizes that the usual arrangement for winter school is that it takes place uh, somewhere where there is still snow on the ground, and I'm reassured that in Estonia it will still be snowy uh, even at the end of March. And for some of our students, it's their first experience of snow, and snowball fights, etc., will be organized just before the annual photograph. Thank you. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Uh, it's a great honor for me to be here, and uh, I'd like to express my gratitude to ESPE and prof to Professor John Gregory to give me such opportunity. Um, within the next three minutes, uh, I'm, I'm going to share with you my own experience uh, and uh, my impressions of uh, the winter school, of both winter schools that I attended. Uh, and uh, um, uh, to emphasize the role and impact of winter school on my career. So my first winter school was um, five years ago. It took place in Ankara, and it was excellent, wonderful time. Uh, it's, it was really busy and um, in, intensive training, um, covering all of, basi uh, all of basic topics of pediatric endocrinology. I'd like to uh, say many thanks to Dr. Malcolm Donaldson for organizing such excellent winter school and to all of SP teachers, winter school teachers, who were teaching us um, with lectures, uh, cases, uh, with 
uh, instructions how to present own case or how to make research projects. Uh, besides all of, um, all of this, um, winter school was an, uh, is an ideal place for, to establish relationship among students and doctors. And, uh, as I, and social activities that we in, in included, uh, um, that are included in winter school uh, are very important for this purpose. Um, and uh, as I realized, the, maybe one of the most important uh, uh, goals of the winter school is uh, to motivate uh, and to encourage young uh, doctors for continuous uh, education. Without uh, winter school, uh, it, w it could be impossible for me to apply and to do uh, my clinical fellowship with one of my uh, winter school teachers, with Professor Christoph Flug at the uh, University Clinic Bern. And it was really uh, learning by doing. It was m most important, uh, um, interesting and use useful time period and stressful as well uh, in my life. Uh, and finally, I I'd like to uh, share with you my experience as local organizer of uh, Jordan Winter School of 2014. Um, when Dr. Malcolm Donaldson asked me and Dr. Metro, David Metrovelli to organize Winter School, we realized uh, our big responsibility, but we did not know what must be done and how it, it, it must be, how it, uh, it is done. We did not know that it starts year before Winter School. Uh, that several emails must be written, sent, and answered every day. But it was a great honor for us to, and experience, of course, to host Winter School in Georgia. It was great pleasure to receive so many positive feedbacks uh, for, of, from all of students and teachers as well. And uh, just uh, again, many thanks to ESPE community for organizing Winter School and um, oh, I and I'd like to encourage young doctors uh, to apply for winter school because it's not only training, it, not only educational training. It's like a life in a big family in small society. Thank you for your attention.